We begin tonight with a story you'll see only on KXOI 4 News. A Cheney grandfather, the victim of a senseless murder. And now his family and friends are calling for more to be done to protect pot shop employees in the state of Washington. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. This is 46-year-old Cameron Smith. Originally from Toledo, Ohio, he moved to Cheney last year to enjoy the rivers and mountains of eastern Washington and be a part of a close friend's new business. Well, tonight, that best friend says something good needs to come out of this tragedy. KXY4's Ariana Lake joins us now live in the studio with more from today's emotional interview. Ariana? Thanks, Nadine. When I spoke with Dennis Turner today, he called Cameron Smith a hero. He told me Smith would sacrifice anything for the greater good, and in Turner's eyes, that's what his friend did the day he was abducted. He says there are security measures in place to try to prevent something like this from happening, but more needs to be done. Since I was 13 years old, Cam has been my barber. He was a, a mentor and an inspiration starting from when you was in the chair getting your hair cut all the way to now. Dennis Turner met Cameron Smith in Toledo, Ohio more than 20 years ago. Smith was there for Turner when he got his first girlfriend, when he got into college, and when he started a marijuana retail shop in Cheney. Last year, 46-year-old Smith left his home of Ohio to find a new one in eastern Washington. Be the best bud tender ever and float the rivers. And for the last year, that's exactly what Smith was doing. If this was his last train stop in Paris, like this is, he did it the right way. I mean, to, he was at the top of his game. Smith's mom, kids, and other family members flew out from Ohio as soon as they found out he had been abducted. Speaking on behalf of the Smiths, Turner said the community's response means a lot to them. They are very much appreciative and grateful for the outpour of support moving forward. What they would like to see is that their daddy's death is not in vain and that it winds up being meaning meaningful. Turner to wants to start working with state leaders on new laws brother. that ensure marijuana stores can do more to protect employees and customers. Because no one should have to lose their best friend like this. If there's one thing you want people to know about Cam, what would it be? He was unforgettable. That's it. Um, it's a tough one, but he was unforgettable in every aspect. I look up to him, I always will, and I'm going to miss him. Of course, very tough few days for that family and friends. There is a benefit plan for this Friday at 5 p.m. at the Unforgiven Lounge in Spokane. Proceeds will go toward funeral costs. There's also a GoFundMe page set up. You can donate to that. We'll post a link to that on our website, www.kexoy.com. All right, thank you, Ariana.